Welcome back to Velox 18. What is going on, everybody? It's been a while. It has been a while. It's been a while. That's what we do here. Um, man, I'm here to uh, kind of unveil the new business and um, not just the new business. You, I've already told you guys, I, I kind of leaked it back a couple weeks ago that I bought a repossession towing company. Uh, we specialize in repossessions, obviously, um, kind of saw the uh, the tea leaves, reading the tea leaves on the state of the economy and thought, you know, I should position myself um, in a business and in an industry that does well when the economy goes down. Made sense to me. Uh, some people had some issue with that, took issue, like I'm taking advantage of people's like, you know, um, bad fortune or something. And it's like, I, I just don't, I don't, I don't get that personally. I've had a car repossessed, well, kind of, but I mean, I, I drove it back to the dealership I bought it from. I mean, it's ha it happens. Like, I lost my job. I couldn't pay for the car. I, I took it back. Now, what these people do, they hide it and, and block it in and try to keep people from taking it. Like, you know, that's kind of shady. So the way I see it is I'm not the shady one for going and picking up these vehicles. They're the shady ones for keeping them because they can't pay for them anymore. So give them back. That's just the way it goes. Anyway, um, but today we're going to unveil the logo. We're going to talk about the logo. We're going to talk about the business side of things. And uh, we're going to get into it right now because uh, there's nothing else to do. I don't got any music to roll anymore. But we're going to get some music to roll at some point And we're probably going to still use the... But um, right now I don't have it. And uh, it'll be a while before I make it because I'm focusing really hard on this business. Trying to put all my energy and attention and focus into building this business. That's why YouTube has kind of slid to the background a lot. Uh, but it's because I'm concentrating on uh, this business and getting it up off the ground. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so we just got the uh, the, the decals put on. And uh, so I'm going to show you guys right now that last final touch going on of, uh, of putting the, the decals on. And uh, you'll be able to read right there, right where it says it on the door, that the new business is called Good Owl Recovery. Mm -hmm. Good Owl Recovery. It's actually Good Owl Collateral Recovery, if you want to get official with it, LLC. Um, and uh, so that's that's the name of the that's the name of the business right now. That's the name of the game, and that's what we're uh, we're we're going with is Good Owl Collateral Recovery. All right, and there you see it in full effect. Good Owl Collateral Recovery. Ooh, there it is. Thank you again to uh, my brother, Janky Design, for the uh, amazing logo. Uh, he also made my Velox 18 logo. He makes everything like creative and cool that I do. Uh, that's pretty much him. So uh, yeah, this is um, this is what we got going on right here. Uh, the 2017 um, Dodge 4500 with the Cummins, the 6.7 liter Cummins. Uh, it's got some miles on it got over 150,000 miles on it but uh just breaking it in just breaking it in um so a good little snatch truck and um you know it's it's gonna it's gonna serve me well for what i needed to do what i needed to do is uh you know get into some tight places and pick up some cars and and uh bring them back to the uh the people that um that own them you get me you feel me so i'm pretty stoked on this um the the name uh came through uh, a bunch of deliberation with my brother um, and talking to him and and I need I'm a verbal processor and so I need someone to talk to about these things and then also it helps when the person you're talking to has uh, other good ideas and better ideas than your own <laughs> so um, this wasn't his his choice this was my choice but he led me to this decision and uh, I don't think he likes this one as much as he liked his idea um, but his idea was it had been done before. Like there's like a bunch of, a bunch of companies that have used the combination of words that he's used, that he wanted me to use. And, um, essentially, uh, I'll break it down for you. Okay. So first off, I knew I wanted to do collateral recovery because, um, uh, my client, my, my, my customer is, um, uh, the bank, right? My, my clients are the lenders. Um, the lien holders of, of different types, um, primarily banks, credit unions, uh, and places like that. So I wanted to make sure that they knew uh, that I spoke their language and that I understand the, uh, you know, the, like, who, I don't know. I, I wanted them to know that, that 
I'm in their world now. You know what I mean? Um, there's a, a couple different big businesses um, that I that I saw names of that um, you know because because towing is kind of like trucking. It's kind of you know it attracts some lowbrow guys. So some people have some lowbrow names. Let's just say that. Um, and you know one company had to change their name completely. Um, because, and, and they had to go with just initials because what it stood for was just a little, like, it, it wasn't even that, like, offensive, but, like, when you're dealing with banks and with corporate entities, you, you, you want to be professional. Um, and so, anyway, so I, 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 I already had in mind, we're going to do collateral recovery. Uh, that's going to be what we do. We're, we're primarily, we're, we're exclusively a repossession business, so that's what we're going to like brand ourselves as is collateral recovery. We're not a regular towing company. We're not towing and recovery. We're not doing recovery jobs, you know, off the side of the road. You know, we don't have a wrecker that handles uh, anything like that. We are simply a repossession business. And so I want to make sure that they knew collateral recovery. So I already had that in my brain. And then it was like, okay, I want to communicate like integrity. I want to communicate, um, Something that that would that would like I don't know make make my clients feel like I have um, integrity and empathy. Those are kind of the two the two things that I really wanted to communicate. That I have integrity and empathy. Integrity because this business is is um, has for a long time kind of been like a little bit of a wild west business, and there could be some shady stuff that happens in this business. And I wanted to make sure that people knew that I wasn't going to be one of those guys that I'm, I'm above board and, uh, you know, like a hundred percent, uh, who, you know, run my business the same way I, I run my life, which is transparent, real, authentic. It is who I, you know, I am who I am. I, I'm not going to lie to cover something up. Uh, I'll be the first one to tell you if I mess something up, that kind of thing. So, uh, integrity and then empathy, um, People are going through the toughest time in their life. Ultimately, these people um, aren't, uh, you know, how do you say it? The, these are the bank's customers. One way or another, no matter how they got there, how they ended up getting the loan from that bank, ultimately, that's their customer. And even if the bank is tired of them or offended or, or one person at the bank feels like, you know, hey, we're done with this person. We never want to deal with them again, whatever. There's still like, as a, as an entire organization, most banks don't want to just burn through their customer base. They want to like have, um, uh, they, they don't, they don't want to just like tear people down. Even if they've, you know, evaded, uh, you know, repossession for a long time and, and they've fallen so far behind on their, on their payments that it's just like, crazy town um most banks still would if that person came back to them a couple years later and had repaired their credit and everything else they'd probably give them another loan like most banks don't want to just like cut cut people out and so in that same way like i wanted them to know that hey man i i care a little bit about these people like i do like i i care about people in general and especially when people are going through tough times like i've been through tough times like i said there's been a number of times that I've I've had you know some some really really like tough economic uh, <laughs> financial times and so I understand what they're going through so I'm gonna treat them like human beings and like people and and um, and I'm gonna have empathy now I have to do my job it's not gonna keep me from doing my job but at the same time we're gonna do it um, with with a little bit of empathy and a little bit of care and not just come in and kind of treat people like crap just because they're in a tough place. Like, um, so we ended up, we, we, I, I was thinking of words that could convey that. And my brother was the one that suggested maybe doing like, um, you know, some type of a, uh, an animal representation of something, you know, and, 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 um, the other thing that we, you know, we wanted to communicate is that we, we are effective, right? We're, we're effective. So like owls are stealthy hunters um, nocturnal hunters, which most repossessions happen at night. Uh, so they go out, they get their prey. They, they actually, I watched this video where they fly 
silently. So like you hear a bird, uh, uh, like a normal bird, and it's like pop, 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 pop. like a pigeon is a, like a really loud flapper, right? And then you hear an owl, and you you don't hear that truck drive by. It's just silent, silent. So anyway, so they're they're like um, you know this like vicious kind of hunter on one on one hand, but then on the other hand. They are like uh, a symbol of like wisdom, right? And, and so, um, so then we wanted to convey that like not just wisdom um, and like a hunter, but like that there's like that empathy aspect. There's that good, righteous aspect. So we did good owl. Uh, my brother put the, uh, the halo on there. And so that's what we ended up with. Let me know how you guys like it. That's it for this video. I'm out of here. Uh, you guys go ahead and um, look for more videos coming out very, very, very soon. Uh, I'm going to be recording a little bit more now that I kind of got the business off the ground a little bit. A little bit. We're, we're not like skyrocketing yet. All right. But we're, we're off the ground now. Um, so uh, be looking for more content coming out. And uh, we'll, man, we'll, we're going to get some, we're going to get talking about some, some kind of broader topics a little bit. Um, and then I'll talk to you guys about the business as it goes and we'll, we'll just, we'll, we'll just talk about whatever I want to talk about because it's my channel. <laughs> ah! All right. Love you guys. Peace out. See you on the next one.